Hi folks, welcome back to Humble Adventures. As always, my name's Dave, and in this video we'll be exploring one of the most famous museums in the world, the Musée d'Orsay. Once referred to as Gare d'Orsay, this beautiful building was constructed as a train station with hotel for the 1900 World Fair. Despite its grandeur and with the rail industry developing substantially, it wasn't long before the platforms at Gare d'Orsay were inadequate and its use as a train station swiftly came to an end. Over the preceding years, the building served many purposes, including use as a shooting stand, a theatre and even a reception centre for prisoners of war until plans for its demolition were put forward. When plans to replace the building with a lavish hotel were heard, they were luckily refused and instead the building began the process of being listed as a historical monument, a process finalised in 1978, one year after the French government approved plans to use the building as a museum. Some eight years later, in 1986, the museum was finally ready to open its doors, boasting around 2,000 paintings 600 sculptures and numerous other historical artefacts and exhibits. Despite its wide variety of uses throughout the years, the building still boasts many of its original train station features which suit the museum perfectly, including itself as one of the exhibits, and as one of the most beautiful and interesting buildings in Paris, it does so quite rightly. As a museum, the Dorsay has performed exceptionally well, especially considering the Louvre Museum is just opposite at the other side of the River Seine. In fact, it isn't despite competition from the Louvre that the Dorsay succeeded, but actually in part as a result of the two museums' collaboration. Along with other museums, the Louvre provided many items for exhibit, consisting mainly of works by artists born after 1820. The National Museum of Modern Art also provided many items after its reorganisation which saw it move to the Pompidou Centre. Amongst the exhibits are many famous sculptures including La Dance and the four parts of the world holding a celestial sphere, but my personal favourite is that of the Crown Prince and his dog, Nero, the son of Napoleon III at around eight years old with his dog. Of course, sculptures and paintings isn't all the Dorsay has to offer. There are also many, both larger and smaller, decorative arts exhibits. 
The museum curators have done a wonderful job of organising and displaying so many different and unique, interesting items in such a way as to create a smooth transition through the various styles, which even a novice such as myself can appreciate, understand and enjoy. The Dorset is perhaps best known for its impressive collection of paintings, mainly consisting of realist, impressionist and post-impressionist art. Now if you're a regular visitor to my channel, you'll know that I'm primarily an impressionist enthusiast. However, seeing some of these other beautiful paintings here is really helping me appreciate the different styles.
As well as the many temporary exhibits the Darcy hosts throughout the year, probably the largest draw is the superb art collection of Impressionist works. And with masterpieces from names such as Cezanne, Monet, Manet, Renoir and Van Gogh, it's easy to imagine what all the fuss is about. Works such as Van Gogh's Bedroom and Starry Night at Rome are instantly recognisable, as are Claude Monet's Poppy Field and Paul Cezanne's Babies. It's easy to see why Musée d'Orsay is one of the best loved museums and one of the most visited attractions in the whole of Paris. I can't imagine visiting this fine city without scheduling a visit here as a priority. Thanks for watching this video folks, I hope I've been able to persuade you to add the Musée d'Orsay to your schedule, I promise you won't regret it. If you liked this video you may be interested in some of my other content, particularly my comparison between the Musée de Louvre, the Musée d'Orsay and the Musée Larangerie, which I'll link to the top right corner of your screen. Please do remember to click the thumbs up if you've enjoyed this video. And if you're interested in receiving notifications of my future uploads focusing on similar themes, please do click the subscribe button and adjust the bell notification settings accordingly. Thanks for watching folks, see you soon.